that on such an immense weekend of the passing of a great, great Imams of the 12 great Imams of the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad Imam Zayn al Abideen that from Imam Ali salam to Imam al Hassan salam from Imam al Hussain salam to Imam Zayn al Abideen salam that survived the events of Karbala and grew to be a immense blessing for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and has left behind the Psalms of Islam, the beatific du'as and immense, immense du'as of, of Imam Zayn al Abideen that accepted by all awliyaullah and recited by all awliyaullah and Imam as sajjad that has spent so much time in sujood and the immensity of the light that emanate. And these are now from this line come the secrets of Imam al Hussain which is the abundant fountains of overflowing rahmah, mercy and knowledges that flow from their heart and their blessings. And on such a blessed weekend Allah gave us an honour to distribute 7200 meals for 72 of the martyrs of Karbala and their descendants that Allah wrote for our community that because of our love for them and their love for us, 7200 meals mashallah was given out by Haji Hayat, Haji Omar, Haji uh, Ridwan and all those who helped and all those who coordinated that Allah blessed them, dress them and write for us more good deeds Amen. that these, these things can't be understood, the amount of grace and, and mercy that Allah dresses for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to show the immensity of support, the immensity of love that 7200 meals that organizations have and may have thrown away. And amazingly with the little van that we have they went grabbed it, distributed to three different locations to many different charitable organizations and many different denominations. There's no discrimination in hunger. Hunger knows no religion, hunger knows no colour, it's just difficulty that has to be given back to Allah's creation. And so Allah wrote that honour for us and our community and our families. By means of that honour may Allah take away immense difficulties, immense sicknesses, all of these hardships that Allah put that blessing into our hisab and that hisab to protect us from all of these types of difficulties coming upon the earth. The only shield we have is not your mind. We know doctors and scientists, they took an oath and pharmacists and they took an oath and a part of their Hippocratic oath is that their belief and their religion is their science. Their religion is not in Islam and their belief is not in God. And because of that system that they believe and they think everything is by the science of their belief. They think all oh, this because that's their whole deen. Their deen is their science and a science that its foundation is to disprove Allah Our science is to magnify and glorify Allah The science of faith is that, Ya Rabbi from the talk that we gave that Allah asked to His servant, look then look again, then look again until your eyes return back tired. That use your ability, look into my creation and I'll send you its knowledges, its hikmah, its wisdoms. So when we set by our intention to glorify Allah anything we look at is to glorify. You see the ocean, SubhanAllah Ya Rabbi how you made this immense water. Then you look again. How you have H2O hold together when normally hydrogen and oxygen they explode as a bomb. Who's holding the two H's together? Because Allah said, look, you see this ocean? 
it's the biggest explosive device that you know in your creation. If I ever get sick of you, I'll tell the angels, lift one H. One hit <laughs> the ocean will take away the entire earth. So it means everything we look at to glorify Allah He expands the knowledge. So they believed as their God was their science and their medicine the proof of their deen and it doesn't work and it's not working. And whatever they told people it wasn't true. And the only one whom can make sugar or pills or tablets, whatever you put in your mouth has to be with, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And only by virtue of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that Allah that you said in My name and the secret which you don't even know which name, under My Rahman and My Raheem, under the Rahmah of this mulk and physical world and the rahmah of the unseen world, I'll activate and give you a shifa and a healing inshaAllah. Whether they put a sugar in your mouth, they put a pill in your mouth or they put nothing in your mouth. Say, Bismillah, I'm so poor I don't even have medicine Ya Rabbi, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Raheem. Allah is the one whom heals, Allah is the one whom sends and Allah is the only one who can take it away. In these days of difficulty faith has to become stronger that although I walk through the valley of death I fear not because my Lord is with me and it's only the good deeds that we do in life that is our shield. Because if the Lord is with you then you should be surrounded by good deeds. How the Lord is with you and you give nothing towards that reality. You do nothing for that reality, you spend no time for that reality, then you should be very scared when you walk through this valley of death. And that's because of the level of faith or the lack thereof of good deeds, good actions and faith. So it means that everything that awliyaullah inspire within our lives is to build that faith. As soon as you don't have money you find, oh look they have food for you. You didn't think any of thing before of it until you needed to eat from it. Then you feel the shame when you go buy food from somewhere else and say, that when I need it, you think Goldberg gives you when you're hungry or your center gives you. So you put towards it, contribute into it, believe in it so that it will be there for you in the day that you need it. And when you give and you donate and you support and you do all your practices, try to, to support the people whom are doing these good things. Not everybody can do them, it's not that everybody run out now and, and go do everything that they are not capable of doing because we don't have to multiply that in 5,000 locations. Just support the people whom are doing it and they do it very organized and they do it very well. They put on a van and that van opens so many doors because Allah just say, do it, don't think in your mind what we're going to do with the van, how the van is going to function. Allah said, why well, you have to think, you just do. Then I open everything that I need to open. So we live the life of these, these actions that make no sense to people until they begin to unfold. Until a day comes you don't have food then you say, ah oh, now I know why the shaykh has <coughs> abundance of food everywhere. Because a day might come I may not have food and that's why he prepared. And why the shaykh is doing all these projects everywhere? Because all the people whom are contributing and involving themselves and being active with it, that is your ta'weez, that is your medicine, ismuhu dawas wa dhikruhum shafas. It's the mentioning of Allah which is our medicine and our dhikr and healing is in all of that. Our healing is in the dhikr of Allah and the dhikr of Allah is not only by tongue but by hand and feet and action because how can you praise and love something that you don't serve? 
So when the people of zikr and the people of haqqaiq they come they're mentioning Allah, 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 Allah and Allah saying that, don't only mention me by, my, by your tongue, mention me with your feet when you're going and doing your action that every step you take to take care of my creation is a proof of your love. How many blessings Mawlana Shaykh Mawlana Shah Naqshaban received from feeding a dog? Feeding a dog until the dog was so happy with him that made a dua to Allah and he, he was inspired by his master that on one of these creatures that you serve they will make a dua for you that Allah will accept. And he kept in his heart always that understanding that his shaykh gave to him a shahadat that, be careful. One, to treat these animals, one will make a du'a for you that you should be very happy with. And he fed a dog that was hungry and as soon as he fed the dog that was hungry he saw the dog is more loyal than all his students that he's been feeding for many years. He fed a dog one time and the dog was outside his zawiya every single day waiting. Just waiting for the command of the shaykh. He said, what loyalty this creature has and as a result was putting food out for the animals until one day that dog had made a du'a that it started to make a noise and a sound and Mawlana Shah Naqshaban through his heart could understand. He was asking something and praying something to his Lord and as a result of that what Allah opened is between Mawlana Shah Naqshaban and Allah But for us as students of this way is have a kindness and love to all of Allah's creation. Make no distinction between them, be kind to His creatures who walk on four, who fly on two wings or walk like us and eat like us. Our job is to do good deeds and these good deeds are our shield. These good deeds are the medicine that protect us and heal us, put something into our account. So whatever is feared out there when it begins to knock on your door and come, its stay is very short because there's so much barakah and so much blessing that allows it to come and push away as nothing severe. Versus hardship and badness when it comes to others, it doesn't leave. It's an unwanted visitor that comes and you have no good deeds to make it to go. It has no reason to vacate that space, it comes as an unwanted guest, hardship and just sits there and keeps inflicting sickness and difficulty upon people because this is the time of the azab of Allah there's no shot that can help you from Allah's azab. There's no pills that can help you from Allah's azab. But because Allah by cause and effect is that you have to make an action and Allah provides the reaction. So it means everything we do with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and our good deeds that we've put into our hisab, Allah make it to be that fire that was going to be huge bardan was salaman and become small kuf 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 and is gone inshaAllah. That it didn't inhabit the lungs and didn't make an attack for the heart of insan. So we pray that Allah give us such honourable deeds, good Ameen. deeds here. We have a van in Los Angeles inshaAllah people whom are in Los Angeles to volunteer and to contact. InshaAllah Ahaj Asim will write his email in the comments. It's asim at fatimazara.org, fzhh.org, A-S-I-M. And that anyone who can volunteer and help with him in Los Angeles so that they can go around and do what the van has to do, then alhamdulillah. But these projects are a safety for ourselves, our families and our communities. Those who are not a part of our community, they don't share in these blessings. And who are not a part of the community, when you're part of a community you're rooting, you know like a soccer game that you can't imagine, oh alhamdulillah they gave 7200 meals 
and you're a contributor, alhamdulillah Ya Rabbi that blessing coming to my home now. So all the people whom are with us are, are rallying, are happy, great that van is moving, doing things. Your wells, 150 wells, 140 wells. When we talk to other people the wells in their country are thousand dollars to get and when they dig they don't even hit water and they dig again. But alhamdulillah our belief because in the name of Fatima Zara salam, the beloved daughter of Sayyidina Muhammad this is the, the banner in which we are moving through these areas. And for their barakah, their blessing and the support of awliyaullah who love Sayyidina Muhammad and are the qulams and servants of Sayyidina Muhammad That support comes, this water flowing for communities. There are people whom don't drink water, can't wash their face and hands. And you take a shower just flowing water, gallons and gallons flowing out. And every time they drink you are benefiting. A difficulty was taken away from you, a healing was granted to you. These things that are coming to us we can't imagine. But when you're with us you should be very happy when you see all the pictures. That's why we're putting the pictures. We go in and repair the wudu station of an orphanage. They don't fix the wudu of a masjid area or their home. More or less to think about little children who can't pay you back. They can't give you, they're not a big donor but to go and fix the wudu for little children and make sure they have air conditioning in their little rooms, this so that we don't have to have difficulty on a difficult day. So our team alhamdulillah they should be very happy. Those who contribute, watch, support, just look at all the photos and you pat yourself on the back without your support, without the, the khidmat and the feet of these people who want to serve and to contribute, nothing can be done. But those whom do we pat ourselves on the back that alhamdulillah Allah gave us and wrote for us these beatific actions. And by means of these actions is our safety, our najat through this ocean of difficulty that we're traversing. When you see a difficulty of ocean of difficulty everywhere and you find yourself maybe on board a different ship. And that ship doesn't do anything but complain, why they do like that? Why they fundraise like that? Why they do? Well because you're not doing anything. Go out and feed, go out and give water, go out and do something. Otherwise you're sh you have a, a ship devoid of a shield. And always in life people who don't do anything. Their only job is to complain to the people who do something. And this is the nature of this creation. But alhamdulillah for those whom are on board, those whom are participating, look at these photos and alhamdulillah and read Fatiha that Allah included us in these actions. Allah gave us the ability and granted us this honour. He could have given this honour to a different organisation but Allah wrote a immense rahmah for that to come to our organization and to our people, our families and our communities here abroad and all over the world that are contributing. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.